The CRA Saturn 35mm T2.9 anamorphic lens is definitely not a perfect lens, but it is perfect for those who want to start shooting anamorphic video, especially on the Lumix S5 II or S5 IIx. First off, I want to thank CRA for sending the Saturn 35mm anamorphic my way to test out and play with. They did send me the lens but didn't tell me what to say so everything here is my own thoughts and words. Another thing is that I've really only had this lens for a couple weeks. So maybe down the road I can do a follow up video but I haven't had a ton of time with it. There's some stuff right out of the box and using it a few times that I'm confident in now but may change down the road. But no worries, these are just some of my right now thoughts. So like I said, the Saturn 35 millimeter anamorphic lens is definitely not a perfect lens. Like the 1.6 times squeeze is not a typical squeeze factor. So for example, on the Lumix S52X, I had to go to a 1.5D squeeze to kind of monitor it. So not having that 1.6D squeeze on the S52X is kind of a little bit of a drawback because that 1.6 squeeze is not necessarily a common squeeze factor when it comes to anamorphic lenses. But there's definitely some workarounds and it's more than usable. And from what I've noticed, you kind of have a limited oval bokeh. So most of my shots are a little bit wider because technically on the full frame, it gives a 22 millimeter look, even though the lens is a 35 millimeter. And with a minimum focus distance of three feet, which is a very long focal distance, I was not really able to experience that oval bokeh in the background. Definitely get some diopters if you are going to be using this lens on a regular basis. I also noticed that it does have a very limited flare to it. Now, if you're going to be going for a J.J. Abrams look, this probably is not the lens for you. And I did notice that it has a very noticeable like pin cushion distortion. <laughs> Now, even though this is an imperfect anamorphic lens, I do think that this is a perfect starter anamorphic lens, especially if you're shooting on the S5 II or S5 II X, or really any other full frame camera that you might be using. And that's definitely for a few different reasons. First of all, I mean, it's a budget friendly anamorphic lens as far as anamorphics go. I mean, you could be spending three, $5,000 on anamorphic lenses and have close to the same performance. And I talked a little bit about the limited flare, but even though that flare is limited, I really like how subtle it is. Now the lens that CRA sent me is the neutral flare lens. You can get a blue flare, but I have the neutral flare. So it kind of takes on the light color that is coming into the lens. And I love the size and build of this lens. It's a carbon fiber metal mix lens. It's super lightweight and it's perfect for handheld or for any type of gimbal work. So a lot of times with the anamorphic lenses, they're big and they don't really balance that well on gimbals. And then also when you're using it with S5 II or S5 II X, you have that anamorphic stabilization built into the camera. Since I was shooting at a 1.5 X, I was able to set my anamorphic stabilization to 1.5 as well. So technically speaking with this setup, you're able to do some handheld anamorphic work. Another reason this might be a perfect starter anamorphic lens is that it is full frame coverage. So shooting at the 3-2 aspect ratio like the 6K open gate option on the S5 II or S5 II X, you're going to get a 2.41 look. And if you shoot at the 16-9, you'll get a 2.81 result. So it's pretty versatile on the S5 II or S5 II X. So when it comes down to it, I think this Saturn 35 millimeter is actually a great starter anamorphic lens if it's something that you want to get into. I know a lot of people love that, you know, cinema style look that the anamorphic lenses provide, but don't necessarily have the budget to go out and spend seven grand on a lens. So if you're looking for an entry into anamorphic shooting, especially on the S5 II or S5 II X, the Saturn 35 would be the way to go.
So let me know down in the comments if anamorphic video is something that you're interested in. What types of lenses are you using? Are you interested in this CRA 35 millimeter T 2.9? We can get a conversation started down there. And if you wanna know how I set up my S52 or S52X for video, for cinematic shooting, make sure you go check out this video that's popping up on your screen right here. I've got all my settings. You can go copy them so that you can get your camera set up to go shoot some video.